All right, we are going to switch this video up a bit and start things off with a question. And I have typed this question and the answers out so you don't have to read as much of my lousy handwriting. In which circuit or circuits does the resistor dissipate the least power? Assume all components are ideal. Is it circuit one, which just has a single resistor R connected to a battery with voltage V? Is it circuit two, which has a single resistor R connected to two batteries V in parallel? Or is it circuit three, which has a single resistor R connected to two batteries V in series? Or are two or more of these circuits, circuits equivalent where the resistor dissipates the least amount of power? So pause the video, think about it for a minute, and then come back for the answer. So the correct answer is circuits one and two. They both dissipate less power than circuit three. And the power dissipated by the resistor in these two circuits is equal. A lot of students, when they see this question, will answer A, circuit 1 only, but that is wrong. And to explain why, you need to remember some things about how the power through a resistor is calculated and how batteries in series and parallel work. So remember that power dissipated by a resistor is P equals IV, and that can also be written as I squared r or v squared over r if you do some substitutions using ohm's law so in this case we have a voltage drop v over that resistor power dissipated that by that resistor is going to be v squared over r let's skip over to this circuit note that we have two batteries in series so the voltage drop over the resistor there is going to be 2v so it should be cl pretty clear that in that case we're going to have 2V squared over R. The power dissipated by the resistor in this circuit is going to be bigger than the power dissipated by the resistor in this circuit with just one battery here. And the mistake a lot of students make is they see this circuit and see, oh, it has more batteries, so there must be more power, right? But these batteries were added in parallel, and that does not change the voltage drop across the resistor. The voltage drop across the resistor in this case is still just V. It doesn't matter how many batteries I add in parallel here, the voltage drop across the resistor doesn't change. So the power dissipated by the resistor in this circuit is still just V squared over R, which of course is equal to the power dissipated by the resistor in circuit one, which leads us to the correct answer. Circuits one and two dissipate the least power. Circuit three dissipates more power because adding the batteries in series does actually increase the voltage over the resistor. So you might ask, well, wait a minute, does adding more batteries change anything? That's gotta change something. So according to Ohm's law, the current through this resistor is going to be I. And in this case, I would be drawing all of that current I from a single battery. But in this case, if I apply KCL at that node, I realize that I would only be getting half of the current out of each battery because I have two batteries. So effectively adding more batteries in parallel will make the batteries last longer because you are drawing less current out of each battery, but it doesn't give you more current through the load. If you want more current through your resistor, then you can add the batteries in series. And in this case, you are going to be drawing the same current through all of the batteries since they're in series. So this doesn't increase the battery lifespan. If anything, it'll decrease the battery lifespan because you're drawing more current from the increased voltage but that gives you more current and more power dissipated by your load. So this is the first of several misconceptions that, again, usually if you give this to students before they've seen all the previous videos in this series, they'll fall for it and pick just circuit one. Hopefully, if you paid attention to the previous videos and everything about batteries and series in parallel, you understand the reasoning here and why the correct answer is D.